Earlier, we reported on charges filed against Brady Rarick for a string of indecent exposure incidents in Grand Forks. He's now also facing a gross misdemeanor charge of indecent exposure on the East Grand Forks side of the river from the same investigation. According to court documents, on June 16th on the 2200 block of 8th Avenue Northwest in East Grand Forks, he exposed his genitals to a group of three female juveniles, one 12-year-old and two 13-year-olds. For more background on all this, here's our earlier report from the Grand Forks side of the river. A Grand Forks man now arrested and charged in connection to four indecent exposure incidents in Grand Forks and one in East Grand Forks that began last May. 30-year-old Brady Christian Rarick of Grand Forks has been charged with felony indecent exposure for allegedly exposing himself to two girls near Holy Family School in Grand Forks on May 10th. He's also facing another misdemeanor indecent exposure charge for a similar incident on May 27th. Other possible, another possible charge is pending on the Minnesota side of the river in East Grand Forks. According to court documents, uh, detectives from Grand Forks and East Grand Forks interviewed Rarick on June 27th. In the criminal complaint, quote, he took a statement from Brady Rarick at the East Grand Forks Police Department. In regards to the East Grand Forks incident, Rarick explained that he was possibly changing clothes in his father's white pickup and could have exposed himself to the female children who were playing near the residence. Residents apologized by writing a letter to the victims. Uh, I, uh, the detective, explained to Rarick that there had recently been four incidents of indecent exposure reported in Grand Forks. Rarick stated he did not recall any of these incidents. Uh, the detective asked Rarick if he would remember if he'd exposed himself to little girls. He stated, quote, sure, yeah, I would certainly think so. The detective asked Rarick if this is... Uh, if this could have possibly happened four other times, and he stated, I certainly wouldn't uh, think four. Uh, the detective asked Rarick, how, how many would you think? Rarick stated that he didn't know and he didn't make it a habit to change in his vehicle. The detective uh, stated, but this has happened before? Rarick uh, uh, replied by stating that it certainly had happened before. Uh, when the detective asked Rarick if all of the juvenile female victims were lying about what they observed and reported, Rarick stated, quote, I don't think they are lying. I don't know them, unquote. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.